So I am 41 years old. I am married uh, 11 years and I have a beautiful daughter. Uh, she's seven um, and just I'm into health and wellness. I am a continuing education kind of person going to school, completing my third master's degree. It's going to be for my MBA focusing on entrepreneurial business. So I have multiple illnesses. And so initially when I was four, I was diagnosed with epilepsy. And then later in life, I got diagnosed with lupus. Following the lupus diagnosis was diabetes. And then after that was kidney disease. It changed my life because initially, according to my mother, who she was a nurse for many years, she believed that I was misdiagnosed. Um, initially, it was a diagnosis of Sjogren's disease, which mimics lupus. Uh, but then I found out in 2008 that I had lupus. Um, and you hear the stories that lupus can be fatal, that, you know, some people can pass away from the illness. Definitely gotta do one like this. Cause you know, I, all, all praises, yes. Um, and so it gave me a chance and an opportunity to just learn more, do research, and, you know, be knowledgeable of this illness that I now have. Do your research. Um, because you can always get a second opinion and that was the case with me is my mother kept saying in her heart of hearts I just think that it's more than that. I think you were misdiagnosed went to another doctor got all the battery of tests done and For sure it turned out to be lupus versus Sjogren's uh, syndrome. So do your research learn about it But don't just take the first doctor's diagnosis get more go to a second get a second opinion if you have to get a third opinion that's fine um, so just be knowledgeable it didn't hit me until i was of age and i have friends and you know sometimes when kids don't understand what an illness is they can make fun of it you know and kids can sometimes be cruel so that did not take a toll on me uh, but again my mother who was in medicine she was a nurse has always said, you get a diagnosis, we have to deal with it, we have to live with it, let's take care of it head on, and let's make sure that we know what we have to do to ensure that you remain healthy and that you remain here. I need to help the doctors help me. And so what I mean by that is not only taking what they're saying, but understanding, and so now, it's a point of, I'm so strong. I want to be that voice for others to, to say, I can get through it no matter what. This illness is not going to hold me back. It's not going to stop me from living because I have to live my life each day. So I tend to share my story. I don't mind sharing my story because five years ago, I lost my hair due to alopecia, due to my lupus diagnosis. I was bald. People are like, how can you do this? I wish I could. And I'm like, if you had to, you would. And so support system is those people who are willing to go the length or the distance with you, with your illness, learning themselves about what it is you're living with and what you have, them being knowledgeable and doing their research as well. I initially, I cried. There were many nights that I cried, yes. So with the feeling of you know being a black woman you know and hair of course is something that is important to me it was the case of okay i'm not my hair um and i take that song you know from india re and i i live by that because i'm not because hair can grow back and my support system they were like it's just hair my husband he shaved his head bald to support me when i decided i said you know what it's gonna grow back if it doesn't that's fine but yes I see young ladies out here you know who struggle with okay I'm losing my hair how can you know I cover it up don't cover it up be yourself you know show people that you're strong that you know you have a will to share you with the world and that was me it was I'm bald and I'm beautiful 
and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take it by storm. The prognosis is, yes, I have these illnesses. They're here, but they don't make me. And I'm a survivor. You will never hear me say that I struggle with um, an illness or this illness is taking over. No, I'm here and I'm gonna show the world that this woman who lives with multiple chronic illnesses can do any and everything. My future looks like I'm going to be sharing my story and my testimony to help others be an advocate for those who can't find those words that are unable to share their story, but be the voice for them. I, I want the foundation to surpass what people just think is always just a nonprofit. No, this is life for me. Health, wellness, and beauty. The name of my foundation is the Jamie Lee Jones Foundation for Dual Diagnosis of Chronic Illnesses. And of course, that came about because myself. It was, how do I share my story with others? How do I get others to understand where I've come from and where I'm going? And so the goal of the foundation is to reach out to individuals who live with chronic illnesses. It can be caretakers of individuals, but helping others know when you go to doctor's appointments, you know, the doctors essentially work for you. So if you have questions, ask those questions. Don't feel like, okay, the doctor comes in for five minutes and sends you away and that's just it. And you have to leave the office with questions unanswered. No, that's not the case. We talk about journaling, understanding, writing down how you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, access to your medical records, understanding what your diagnosis is, any and everything, caretakers. From a caretaker standpoint, caretaker's corner. How are we as caretakers supposed to react? How do we help this individual who is living with a chronic illness? So the foundation is growing, uh, but also sharing the testimony and the stories with others. And people can look at me and I can share my story of adversity that yes, you know, in 2009 when I got diagnosed with diabetes, I was clinically dead, but other beings, you know, saw fit that, you know, the Lord saw fit that I stay here and I share my story. Do it with meaning. Boy, to me, it means sharing yourself, um, teaching, um, being genuine and humble, um, you know, I could keep my story and my testimony to myself, but what good does it do someone else who's newly diagnosed? Let's take my journey, share it with you so that that person can say, wow, you know, I can do it just like Jamie did. And so do it with meaning means being humble and just being yourself. Yes, I am fearful of some things, but to come out and share my story to share me with the world don't be afraid because your fear is only going to hold you back it's not going to allow you to move forward and so with that be knowledgeable do your research and be fearless my name is jamie lee jones and i do it with meaning Hey everybody, this is Tier with Anaya Photo. Just want to thank you again for uh, watching the video. And I want to just take a moment to thank everybody who took part in this first Do It With Meaning photo shoot. So I'm going to have everybody introduce themselves and let you know where you can find them on social media. Tyawa and Naya Carmichael of Double Beauty Makeup Artistry. You can find us on Facebook at Double Beauty MUA or at um, gmail, doublebeautymua at gmail.com. Jamie Jones of the Jamie Lee Jones Foundation. 
I can be found on Facebook at JLJ Foundation 2017, or you can go to the website at Dual Diagnosis of Chronic Illnesses.org. And I am the BJ Butler. You can find me on all social media platforms at B E E D O T J A Y, that's at B.J and www.b.j.com. I want to thank uh, again everybody for watching the video and thank everybody who helped out make this first photo shoot a success. And remember, whatever you do, do, do it, it with, with meaning. meaning.